the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Christians, I've been honest, I'm very happy to be here. That's number one. Very nice, I was very happy with the amount of people. It's, it's, the church is getting very bigger. Oh my God, yeah, it's, it's a lot of people, a lot of people. And I, I, <laughs> it's a lot of people. Uh, I, I heard next week you're changing the classes, that's right? Yes. Okay, this is very good. You change today? Okay. Okay, so what's happening? What's happening? We need to talk about how we assist our service. I don't want to let your life to go very quick. I don't want you to you think a servant. I want uh, just the time I give the lesson and go home, I did my job. All this one is not true. You need, you have to sit and think, are you are in the right way or not? Very important. A lot of people, the Bible behold, some road we think we are in the right track, but unfortunately this track can take us away from the spiritual life. So how I assess my service, that's very important. Why we need to assess our service, very important. We need to assess. Sam Paul himself, after he was preaching a lot of people, he said, I'm coming back to the apostle to see what I was preaching was correct and exactly like what I take from God and I teach people or not. So this is the time we need to sit and ask ourselves a question. We need to ask ourselves, are we really servants? His Holiness Pop Shinoda was asking himself one day a question like this. God, he took him in vision and he wrote it in the book, Heaven at that night. And he took him vision like the city, the heaven city for servants. And he knocking the door to walk in, the angel told him, hold on, where you go? He said, I was a servant. And he's my friend inside, another friend inside, another friend inside. He said, hold on. These people all week, what they was doing, what they was doing, what they was doing that we discussed, but he didn't do any of this. Are you really a servant? He wake up to himself and they change his life for the service. Sometimes we as a servant, we get temptation from devil. Sometimes we give nice topics, sometimes the kids love us. We think you are a servant. No, hold on. You have to look to the really servant. Really servant and think about, I'm really servant. Sometimes we can say like this, a lot of time, I get temptation like this when I give good sermon or something and people say, oh, it's nice topic. I have, I look, I go home, I was thinking about Habib Gerdi. I was thinking about Bob Shinoda, one tip, one tip he, he done, remember you left your first love. He exactly say like this, remember when you went to the church first time, you was hiding, you doesn't want to people talk to you, you embarrassed, now you start to be servant, people ask you questions, you start to get topic, hold on, wake up to yourself, because if the devil starts, can face ask you ask something, you will finish. Habib Gerdes was one person, he changing the history of Coptic Church. One person, he not a monk, he not a priest, just he was a deacon and archdeacon. He said, I have focus, I need to do something. All the Sunday school we do now, that the service from Habib Gerdes. All this we have now, the fruit of the service, of Shinoda, all the bishop with him, all of our teaching with the fruit Habib Gerdes planted in the Coptic Church. Where we are from these people, we just like small seeds. We need to grow. How we grow, we we'll talk about. When you assess your service, you have to be honest. Ask yourself, number one. I, I write seven points and ask yourself when you go home. Number one, ask yourself, I am really was honest in my visitation or not? Very, very, very important the visitation for Sunday school. If you think you are only coming Sunday school here to give a sermon and go home, you are in wrong business. Our church, not the church for talk, our church for discipleship. When the monkey getting older, they put a young one to learn from him how he pray, how he live. These kids with us, they watch us, what we do, what we teach them, so they can grow the same food bus we grow. Visitation number one in our service, at least once, twice. These little kids, 
they didn't see Jesus Christ. They didn't see anyone, but they see the servant and they look to you as a servant. You presenting the church. But when you visit him, when you give him hug, when you kiss him, you give him presents, you get Jesus Christ from heaven to show him that the love Jesus teaches us. That the way Jesus teaches us to love people. Visitation very important. And when you go, don't say he's not your boy or this or that. No, have, have, have idea what I need to do. Number one, the best you go two by two. One pray with you, someone pray, someone he do the job. Sometimes the parents get involved, this second one he can talk to the parents, and one of the servants concentrate up with this boy or girl. Ask her, she praying or not, check her idea. Give her something she needs to do. Thanksgiving, have mercy upon us, or some, depends on the age, depends what. Ask them for confession. Read a small Bible with them and check, are they really read the Bible or not? Have a look. And all this one helping you, if they have a problem, you can transfer it to the place. But the kids are coming for me about 50 weeks a year, because two weeks you have no Sunday school. 50 weeks a year, and they're coming just for 20, 15 minutes. I talk to him, quiet here, quiet there, give picture, give lolly, see you later, next week the same story. You're not teaching anything. That's why we have plenty of people in primary. Go to the high school, where is our people gone? Because they have no relationship. That's the service. The service is honest. I can get a tape. People get sermon better than any one of us. But they're not going to get the discipleship. If you go to the Protestant, if you go uh, uh, his song, if you go to these people, they give you beautiful people, you found people dancing, leaving everything. They have no problem. But where is the discipleship? Nothing. Our church for discipleship, transfer Christ from here to there, from you as a servant. We need a new generation to serve a kid so to get them Jesus Christ to their home. Someone did it come, did really we ring him? Did really we care about them or not? Ask yourself, how many people didn't come, I ring them? How many people did come, didn't come, I sent the lesson. I remember Tanti Jujet, she told us all, we put it as a copy, we send it to kids. The kids missed, but at least they got it at home. He know what happened. Not because he didn't come, thank God, instead of 15, they 10 or 5, the class was very good and nice. God, he wanted the people didn't come more than people they hear. One of the priests in Alexandria, he said, I want to do my visitation. When I check my diary, I took the address, the, four, the house number, the flat number. Abuna went, go up with second floor, this flat, he knocked the door. When, before the man opened the door, he looked carefully, he found that wrong. He looked the same, the same number house, the same flat number, but the street was very close to him, and instead of one ahead, it was one before. The man, he opened the door, he found a picture of Jesus Christ, the priest said, at least all right. The guy, he asked the priest, why you coming here? He said, just tell me even to go in. He said, no, tell me. Abuna, he said, I'm not going to tell you until you tell me why you worry. He said, Abuna, come in. I was from Abar, Egypt. I went to Alexandria. I've been 20 years. I left the church. I was a servant. I never served anymore. The Bible, I didn't read. And all the stuff. But for two days ago, I went out with my friend. Everyone was drinking, everyone was drinking, all of them, they got food poisoning, one of them died, second one in hostel, I'm the only one all right. I found something inside me like fire, tell me open your Bible, I start to pray again. I start to pray and open my Bible and I was praying with tears, I asked God, if really God you accept my prayer and you listen to my prayer, just send a priest to take my confession. And I found you today knocking the door and coming. So God, he accepts my prayer. You don't know God sent you to visit these people for something. You saw a problem in the family. You saw something. You're not going to go and say everything outside. No. With Abuna, Abuna, they give them more focus. You know the need of the kids. You know he's good in this talent. He's good in this talent. One day I was visiting one of the Sunday school kids. I went to his bedroom. All the picture was Michael Jordan basketball man. All the old people acting, everything. I told him, what this? Where is the picture of any Christian picture? I said, yeah, I got one. He showed me this small one in hundreds of hundreds of pictures with Marimina. is the one. Something you talk. You know what's wrong, you talk. 
you talk very important. So number one, I ask myself, I am honest to my visitation or not. Number two, very important, I am honest to my preparation and attending service meeting or not. Because the preparation not last minute. Tomorrow I have Samaritan woman, <laughs> read, 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 get, and I coming to read from the class. No. If you know next week you have the lesson, all this week just to collect material, read, listen, what I need to give him new. Be aware from what to happen in the internet. If website you're not sure, if something you're not sure, don't take it. It's a lot of material out there, but are there following our church face or not? Very important. Prepare everything, leave all the week for the lesson. Ask God what you want me to tell the children. Because there is message coming through you, God use you for message for these children. Very important. Very important. God, He used us as a servant for the sake of the children. I remember, I don't want to talk about myself, but I remember one day I finished, I would have Thomas Sunday sermon man. You know, second week after resurrection, everyone speak about res- res- resurrection. resurrection. But in this one, when God gives, him the, gives the disciples the absolution about forgive the sin and confession, so I said that's a good chance to talk about the confession. So I give very good sermon about confession, and I finish the sermon, everything. Down the stair, one lady, she met me. She said, why you talk about this topic? It's not related to the occasion. I said, I don't know. Just two days ago, something like in my mind, talk about this, talk about this, talk about this. I said, she said, we have visitor, my uh, nephew from America. He never confessed, and all last week we was talking to him about confession. And when you speak in the sermon was about confession, he went and confessed today. So you see what happened? God a lot of time used us for a message for someone. You hear it a lot of time, especially when you talk to others. Sometimes God sends you a message to someone. So ask him, God, what you want me to tell these people? If you want to, you have to ask yourself, you have a good faith in the church or not, check yourself during the exam. How many servants coming during the exam to Sunday school or stay home? We struggle to find servants during the exam. Why? Until I'm sorry, I have exam. So do you think if you're coming to do your service, God is not going to be with you? Do you think you win this two, three hours at home to study kind of better than you serve his children? Come do his, your job with the church, he will support you at home. So very important. So number one, we ask us, are we honest for visitation? Number two, are we honest with preparation the lesson or not? Number three, are we honest for activity? Number one, to get the children to the church activity. Where is your activity? Where is your camp? Where is your outing? Don't you expect to have an hour here, you will know the kids? Go out, play soccer with the kids. Go out, take the kids to McDonald's, talk to them. I remember, you remember, St. George, to Madeline or Sana, maybe most of you, amen, we, we do the soccer. We used to do the soccer after Sunday school. All the kids are coming with short t shirt after the church, you remember? And they want to play. When I was young, I didn't remember anything the servant teach me. But I learned something. They get me the church. I was loving soccer. They get me through the soccer. I was love activity. They got us through activity. The world outside grabbing the children too much. Too much the game, Xbox, we all the stuff where we are. They're not gonna come to boring lesson to put them for twenty minutes, half an hour. San John said, San John go, thank you very much, you have the kids to sleep and second half try to sleep. You have to make your lesson creative. Put something the kids can wake up. The kids in our day big different. Every day in our society make different kids. If you working with people from outside, you understand what I'm talking about. I go to the city Friday night, Saturday night to see some of my workers in the club and pub and see half of, half of the world you see people in the city. Different world we live in, honest. We have to come to update. We have to know what's happening outside. You need to go to Facebook, add your children. You will surprise about the swear, about the photo, about what's happening on Facebook. 
I got some of the Sunday school, they add me, and I look to the chat, they are in the internet until 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Where is the parents? They sleep, the kids are from mobile phone. They have no idea. They have no idea. Because the parents behind too much, the kids updated too much. It's a big gap nowadays in our society. Big gap. You need to wake up. You need to give them the food for the right person. We need to know their hobby. We need to know what they love. And we do what they like. I'm not coming to do what I wanted to give them. I wanted to do what makes them happy. I was one of the class here. The first question I asked them, what you want to ask me or to talk about? Ask them. Sometimes they have a question inside them. Sometimes they got something from school. They scared to ask the parents. When you sit with them private, they will talk to you. When you sit, you open discussion, they will talk to you. This is a point very important. After this, ask yourself, I am honest with my prayer or not. Did really I pray for these kids one by one? I remember the name one by one. Then Paul, he said, I engraved them in my hand. And the God, he said, whatever touch you, touch my eye. So are we pray for them? We used to write their name in list and we put them in the altar. We used to win the HC, we write their name, I want to make match for them. We, we used to have the list at home. When we pray, we pray for them like our kids. They're our kids. End of the year, God, he will get you and tell you, you have 12 months, I give you these 15 people. What did you do with them? Did you teach them this? Did you visit them? Do you was honest with them to pray for them? Or what did you do? Or we coming, we give the same lesson, we we'll go home. What the kids learn from year five to year six, year seven, that's it. You need to make your lesson interesting. Use your body language. Use your eye contact with the kids. There's a lot of technique to learn how to deliver communication. Why people voting for this world leader? Because they, need, they know how to talk to people. You need to know how to talk to this language. Use your body language, use eye contact, point to someone, be quiet, put your voice up, make this lesson interesting, and don't keep the lesson too long. The psychologists say, your kid's age plus number five. If I teach year seven, how old year seven? 13 plus 5, 18 minutes. After 18 minutes, you're not concentrate. You need to do something different, so you grab the attention again. If you have 6 years old, 11 minutes, do something to make it interesting. That's the psychology. But to keep kids a half an hour, the same servant, the same routine, no. Stop, ask, come back. What we say in the beginning, what was the verse about? So why we call him St. George? Why, what's the meaning of St. George? Make it active. Listen, the kids go out. Remember, one, two, three, four. Did you see what I did in the sermon? Point number one, point number two, point number three, number four. And when I say number one, I come back. When I say number two, come back to one. Everyone go out. They remember that you do the same. You need the kids coming out. Take something. The very famous word asked the kids after Sunday school. What did you get? What did you learn? I can't remember. The myth wasn't here. I don't know. This is very famous. No, but if you repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, they will know. Ask yourself about inverses. Our kids nowadays are very, very weak in Bible. Where is your competition? We have the summer competition. We've done it. Did we have something in the beginning every two months? We do something to wake up these kids. I was in Melbourne. They have something nice every week, they teach them a verse, and after two months they make competition to ask them for all eight verses. I bet you, after two weeks to ask them, if you're not going to take competition, they're not going to forget. Give them the verse written in paper, memorize, and every two weeks, uh, two months, get them together, who knows the eight verses, bang, get them here, get them present. The church is not going to stop you to give present. Don't worry, go to Maktaba, I'm Ahmad, he gave you church bay, we collect from each other away. But the benefit for the kids, that's number one. Number one, God ask us for these kids. One by one, everyone with his name. If one of these kids lost, you can't bring him back. If one of these kids, if you are a doctor and you try to look after someone to make him alive and he die, might be good chance he go heaven. Because depending if he's good or not. 
But if we, we have more responsibility than doctor, if these kids are lost of us, there is no another choice. After the church, where he can I go? Where he can I go? He goes to the wallet, they eat him. You don't know what the people do outside. You don't know how much drugs we have nowadays in Sydney and al -Fahal. On it, you have no idea. Have a look in the schools, have a look to the people, have a look to the crime, read newspaper, update your knowledge what's happening out there. Ask yourself, I am honest as I was follow servant. We are very good friends together. Well, I'm then a young people Fuadi, well, Kubar Fuadi, well, management Fuadi, Kulahat Fuadi. We need to learn to cooperate together. We are one church. If Santana need help and she went to a car, she help here. If Madu no uh, Iman, she want to help you to go here. If Santana should just had Allah Ta'ala, I forgot to whatever prepare or I need help for this. The kids, we help each other. We are one church. All of our aim, the kids. The kids, number one, I don't care about servant, own it much. If I have a problem servant with kids, I will back up the kids. Because the kids, number one. We hear their, I don't want to say, they Saint Augustine, he said, he said it clear. God, they my, like, uh, master and I am their slave. And when he said this, he was a bishop. Imagine we just a khuddam. Fahmin? Very important. The kids are very important. You have to learn they got children. If you teach John Howard the children, what you can do? You have to be very careful. You have to prepare yourself. You have to do this. Imagine you teach God children. Last one, how we can be servant? We lead by example. Be careful, be careful, be careful what you say, what you're doing. I'm not going to forget one servant. I'm not attending much at all uh, reception, but this servant, she was from our church. She done reception for her wedding. And I am coordinator, so I have to attend the parents and all the stuff. In. When I attend, it was disaster. The servant went and dancing. Who went to dance? All the kids who was dancing. One of the mother told the kids, sit down, I have servant Look how many years she teach. She changed all the picture for eye of the kids because she done mistake. Sometimes we are very good. Everything, sometimes we swear, one swear, the kids will put it in their mind. You will confess, God will forgive, but do you think the kids can forget or not? Very hard. We have to lead by example. All right, so number one, I am honest with my visitation. Number two, I am honest with my preparation. Number three, I am honest with my prayer. Number four, teach them the verses. Number five, love each other in the service. Number six, lead by example. Any question? The activity very important. Please, guys, the camp. I just I come from uh, last week. I was in camp with our church primary camp. In the camp was the hill song. Occupying is another building. Kids. High, just high school, seven and eight, they stay for three days. I didn't see one of them walking without his Bible. Everyone walk with his Bible, they discussion group, discuss, writing, doing. Where is our kids from Bible? Do camp. Do camp. The camp is not hard. If the financially hard, the church will support. The church never say anything with money only. We never, we never any service is stopped for money. I am sure. Do book camp. Where, especially young people, where is your energy? Think about the outing, take them circus, take them out. Every week something, some clubs go out. What's wrong with that? Talk out, talk to them. This is school holiday, what did you do guys? Anything in the school holiday? Prepare something for next school holiday from now. You got one week for fashion week, you got another week, I think, or two, three days after Easter, Easter Monday, do something. Get them out after Easter Monday. Go have barbecue together. Sunday school, do something in the middle here, and everyone help. The kids, number one. If the kids didn't come to the church or have activity, where are the kids you think? Internet, Facebook, hanging in the street, or shopping center. Nothing else. Or TV. And TV, it's already a disaster. 
And now you can guide them. You will come to the edge, you can't do anything. You, they're not even coming, they're not interested. Because this is the time you get them what you want. So when they grow and they go, come for the tough edge, at least they have foundation. All right, any questions? Thank you very much again for having me today. Please pray for me and thank Abuna Nidani Lichan.